Hi guys, this is NJ, your host on this channel. So the topic which we are going to discuss today is the children rhymes. So how can just by looking at someone's palm, we can get to know whether this person is destined to have children and how many children in numbers this person can expect in his life. So, you know, first of all, one ground rule which I want to set here is that, you know, you need to first check the hand, whether the hand is confirming the potency whether the hand is you know confirming the virility in the life of an individual or not so that's the first sign uh, first ground rule second is that all those signs which we are going to discuss we need to check those signs in the hand of both the partners so the male and the female we need to check the signs in the hands of both the couple that's the second ground rule <coughs> third is in case even if we have found out some you know deficiency or some area where those signs are lacking in either of the uh, uh, mate of the couple then you need to remain assured that you should not point out that uh, sign of deficiency particularly pointing towards that person you need to just give a ballpark figure you just need to highlight that these are the signs which are blocking in both of your lives and what all you can do is these are the certain remedial measures which you can think of opting if you want to assure the you know birth of a uh, child in your life so this is how analysis is done so the signs which we are going to discuss today is first of all you know <coughs> there has been a difference of opinion in the this concept between the uh, western palmist and what has been written in the hindu samudik, samudik shastra so the western palmist across the world take this portion so this is our union line from the percussion side this is considered as our union line so what the palmist across the globe specifically in the western part give emphasize is that they just the uh, vertical lines over this union line they take this as the sign of determining the number of children so i kind of disagree on this although i'm giving it uh, i'm going to give a complete account what has been believed so they as per their belief that the number of vertical lines on this union line will tell about the number of children so let's say the dark line so let's say if this is the union line so according to them the darker and the short and darker line would tell about the male children and the thin and uh, and small lines would tell about the female child and let's say in case if these lines are afflicted so let's say if this line has got island on it so this could just indicate that this uh, child would have problem related to his or her health and let's say if these two lines let's say there are two lines on the hand which are very close together so many also believe that this could be a sign of twins being born and let's say in case if these lines are not touching the union line they are just being here they are just being spotted above the union line but not touching it then many palmists even see it as the case of adoption so this is the concept which has been believed across the west and you know when it comes to what hindu samadhik shastra the hindu palmistry which promises and how we look at things are that we give more precedence to this portion of the hand and what makes me say that because you know you need to understand that the whole hand can be divided into two parts you know our this side of the uh, hand so if i were to just divide my hand in two parts so this part of your hand tells about your you know active conscious state of mind and this part of our uh, hand tells about our subconscious our mental state and you know whenever it comes to even uh, determining someone's potency virility or you know ability to procreate we also give emphasis to this region because this is the region of our sexual drive this is the region of our vitality because this constitutes of the lifeline which tells about our physical capacity this tells about our amount of penis which tells about our sexual drive and this portion also contains the inner mount of mars which also tells about our energy same is the case even jupiter is found here which tells about our you know our active state of you know active state of mind as well as our you know even in astrology jupiter has been seen as a chief significator of progeny so hindu palmistry gave more emphasis to this part of the hand so if we were to discuss it from that perspective the lines coming out from the thumb side these vertical lines present over here tells about the number of children as per the hindu palmistry so the long and uh, long 
vertical and unaffiliated line would tell about a male child and let's say the small or thin line would tell about a female child so that's one more place to look at now coming to the another uh, area where you need to look at in order to determine the state of someone's children is this portion so the place where thumb is meeting the palm this place you will find a kind of a ring formation over here a line so let's say if you'll find this uh, line which is generally uh, made up of islands so the bigger island formed over here spotted over here would tell about the so let's say if it is found to be made by you know bigger kind of island so this would tell about male child and uh, the smaller island would tell about the female child so the number of bigger island present here in the formation of this ring the bigger island would tell about a male child and a smaller island would tell about a female child and lastly many palmists have even found in their research that the presence of vertical lines on the second flange of the you know the ring finger the apollo finger and the jupiter finger to be the as a determining factor of the number of uh, children which an individual will have so two lines over here or let's say two lines over here could just indicate about the number of children so i would uh, summarize it the first sign which has been you know taken refuge in uh, um, uh, western palmistry is the presence of the lines on the union line so this is let's say my union line so the presence of a uh, long and you know thin line would tell about thin line would tell about a female child and a, a broad and dark line would tell about a male child and this is the case which western palmistry believes in hindu palmistry give more significance to these lines present on the found on the base of the thumb here coming out from the percussion side long lines tells about a male child smaller line tells about female child and at this ring formation here where the thumb meets the um, your palm a larger island tells about a male child smaller island tells about a female child and lastly the presence of these vertical lines on the second flange of the uh, second flange of the index finger and the second flange of the ring finger also tells about the number of children which an individual can have so this is about the number of children now you know like the way i begin my video with this concept that we also need to look at whether the um the a person has the ability to procreate or not so how can we just look at just by looking at someone's hand you know because we need, you need to understand this concept that these lines could also be found in the hands of celibates in the hands of nuns and even in the hands of eunuchs so these lines those combination would just uh, uh, you know uh, rather than children the you know the students the disciples would take the place of Uh, those children so this is how analysis is done and like the way i have said this thing you need to take into consideration all other constraints as well about the family planning of an uh, of a couple whether someone has gone through vasectomy tubectomy and uh, what all kind of the family planning mechanism these uh, the couple is opting for then only you could just tell about the possibility and the number of having children but before that as well you need to check the signs of potency the signs of virility in the hands so uh what all are those signs the first thing you need to look at is you know any point of time you will find let's say this is the fate line this is the fate line and you you will find a kind of branch line going towards the jupiter mount towards the index finger so this is a very good sign which tells about a good potency infused in the physical constitution of an individual uh, another sign is let's say if you find the lifeline lifeline being set above little bit above closer to the mount of jupiter so this would also uh, uh, assure the possibility of the person having good potency let's say if you will find any branch line from the lifeline going towards the jupiter mount so this would also heighten the possibility of having children one more sign to look at is if any point of time in between the you know this is our Uh, uh our heart line this is our headline any point of time in between of them on the outer mount of mars you will find this kind of horizontal line so this also indicates someone having good potency to procreate so this is about all those signs and let's say this is our heart line if you have spotted this kind of triangle formation on the above and under the heart line making it look like a square so we have this is our heart line you have spotted one triangle above it and one triangle 
you know under it making it giving it a kind of square shape of formation so this would also indicate someone having good potency to procreate and you know lifeline you in any case need to give proper emphasis because lifeline tells about our physical constitution and now we would just take some special cases where we can just expect that these are the combinations present in the hand which could indicate the fortune awakening child or the fortune uh, awakening of an individual once the child is born so how those signs are looked at is in case if the presence of good heart line and good head line you will find the fate line rising from the life line so this would also indicate a child you know uh, uh, you know arrival of a child who would bring good fortune in the life of the couple so that's one sign to look at let's say if you have spotted small branches going from the heart line towards the mounds so something like this thin kind of lines going towards the mounds so this also indicate that the uh, arrival of a child in the couple's life would bring good fortune and lastly if you have found this kind of line uh, which is also known as like close to the uh, look which would look like uh, you know um, mars line so if any point of time you have spotted this line coming out from the life line and running parallel to the uh, life line so this would indicate that you know the children will have always good support and you know there will always the support of children in the life of the person so these are some of the uh, you know the constraints which we need to understand lastly there are some like kind of signs of affliction which if you have spotted in someone's hand so you could just uh, uh you know kind of foresee some kind of troubles in having progeny in having children so the first sign being if you have spotted the symbol of this v kind of formation on the um this first uh knot of the thumb so if you have spotted this v kind of formation on the uh, uh on the knot of the thumb first knot would indicate someone having facing too much of trouble uh, in order to have progeny the second sign to look at is if any point of time you'll find this kind of you know grill kind of long line coming out from the first flange of the thumb and reaching till the mount of venus so this also create affliction and obstacle in terms of having progeny that's the second sign to look at third sign to look at is if any point of time you'll find this top bracelet specifically in the woman's hand you will just find this top bracelet little bit of curving upwards and something like this going again like this so this is a sign a typical sign which would indicate in a woman's hand in a you know difficulty in having progeny and let's say the mercury line so this is our mercury line which lies from here and goes towards the little finger pinky finger so any point of time while this mercury line wherever it is meeting the head line it is forming a kind of star over here so this would also indicate you know trouble in having progeny that's one more sign to look at and the one more sign of obstacle is you know this first bracelet this first bracelet if it is uh, you know uh, if it is made up of uh, bigger islands so that is considered as good and let's say if you have spotted this uh, first bracelet to be made up of small island so this is also not considered as very good sign in terms of having progeny and lastly as i gave most emphasis to the condition of the lifeline so let's say if any point of time you will find this lifeline to be made up of big so this is our lifeline so any point of time you will find double lifeline making a kind of boost a uh, kind of a uh, structure so something like this a big big island a big island so this is a sign which you need to remain very watchful of this is a sign which is not considered as very good sign in having a good potency to procreate next this is our headline same is the case if you'll find double headline making it look like a bigger island so this is also not considered as a very good sign something like this that's one more sign to look at and lastly let's say if in the hand of someone this is the lifeline you will just find a line running close to the lifeline see you need to understand that whenever a line is running closer to the whenever line is running close to the uh, kind of uh, any major line it act as an aid 
it acts as a like helping providing support and uh, uh, and support to the main line but when this line is formed too close to that major line and it is also very dark and broad so this kind of create obstacle and affliction rather than providing aid to it and along with that if in this formation if this is not a line of mars if it is being very close to the lifeline life uh, even in the case of a proper line of mars which provides vitality and support and strength to the lifeline you will find it to be little bit in distance from the lifeline but when this line is formed too close to the lifeline so this is not considered as good and along with that this is the headline and under the uh, you know under the uh, middle finger you will find a smaller island kind of structure so this is also not considered as very good sign of in terms of having uh, you know progeny so this is how analysis is done i hope i made myself clear in this video all what we have discussed in this video is you know the uh, where we can just look at in order to determine the number of children we have also look at the signs of potency signs of virility in order to uh, have uh, children and lastly what are the kinds of obstacle which we just by looking at someone's hand we can expect that this person could have uh, you know uh, trouble in having children and uh, like the way i have uh, said this thing repeatedly that we need to check the signs in the hands of uh, 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 both the mates and lastly you know if you have spotted some signs of affliction by opting proper remedial measures those signs could be avoided and a, a happy matrimonial life in terms of having good progeny can be lived all what you need to do is let's say if you have spotted um, this amount of uh, venus to be deflated or lifeline curving too close and giving less breathing space less space to the amount of venus so you could advise an individual to wear a diamond ring same is the case if mount of jupiter is afflicted you know wearing a yellow sapphire or topaz could help if the mount of moon is afflicted wearing a pearl ring could help so this is how um, uh, analysis is done this is how remedial measures are advised i hope i made myself very clear in this video for further more updates and notifications on palmistry please subscribe my channel and like my facebook page thanks